I see a tent, but where there's tents, there's usually bears. Okay, how about, how about we just shoot the most limp dick arrow ever at you? I gotta take you down, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't mean anything against your kind. You do a great job preventing forest fires and stealing picnic baskets. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to Chapter 1 of Raft. So last episode, we managed to overcome the mutant rat-filled yacht. We took a look around, found some clues and some coordinates as to where we should go next to find more survivors. And we worked on this. Which is technically an engine, but considering it's made out of a pile of sea garbage, I get the feeling it's just as likely to be a bomb. Like, I think we just add some planks, and then a little bit of fuel, light it on fire, and hope that it doesn't explode. <laughs> I don't know, I haven't tried it out yet. We also have a steering wheel, so if we do explode, at least we can steer some of the pieces in the right direction. And I coated the entire outside of the ship in metal armor. So now, hopefully Barbara can stop eating our ship and go eat a dick instead. I don't know why it took me 80-something days at sea to realize that I could tie a sock to a stick to figure out the wind direction. <laughs> but it's certainly an improvement, okay? The raft is really just shaping up. We can weigh anchor. We can start moving in this direction. Oh, 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 uh, we're spinning. We're definitely spinning. I'm not losing my mind, right? All right, well, this thing definitely works. <laughs> we want to go this way. I think I'm gonna lose my bearings so easily. I think we're heading into the sun. Right, we're heading uh, west, I believe. Right, the sun sun should be setting. So, oh, careful, careful. I wanna go straight. Straight. There we go. All right. Uh, I think I think this is okay. You you gotta go over this way now. We can still use wind power, but we can also get you up and running. Change direction. No, we want to be going forward, right? How do I turn you on? Whoa. Okay. I guess it's working. Can you go a little faster? It It's kind of like chugging along. <laughs> it's like a really low frame rate. What's going on? Everything else is fine. And I'm not moving. Why am I not? We wait anchor. I'm losing my mind right now. This is going in the correct direction. It's got everything that it needs. Look at the wind blowing against us. Oh, we might need to put you up. Uh, How do I raise sail? Can I? I don't have raise sail. I don't. Ah, oh, screw it. <laughs> Why isn't this working? I've made it worse. Barbara, don't you start with me right now. Are you kidding me? I spent all that time and all those resources covering my entire ship with metal just for you to ghost through it and attack the next layer? <gasps> oh my god. I'm like three minutes into this video, and I'm gonna have a cardiac arrest. Gonna have a cardiac arrest? I'm gonna have a stroke. I might be having a stroke right now. I'm still so close to the rat yacht that I can practically taste them. <laughs> this is unbelievable. I don't know what's wrong with this thing. Like, I put wood in. It takes wood, so it's full on fuel. I don't know if I'm supposed to attach something to that. I don't have anything else. Changing direction didn't do anything. I can activate it. One wheel equals a hundred. A hundred what? I don't know what that means. Why are you such a rickety piece of crap? <laughs> this is unbearable. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. Like, I know, I've been at sea for 80-something days, I have a first mate chew potato and I yell at animals all the time, but the number is getting bigger, right? 2208, 2209, I'm pointing in the right direction, I'm moving forward, but I'm not, I'm actually moving backwards, apparently, despite the fact that I have a sail that's pointing in that direction and an engine that is turning in the correct manner. So, are we just screwed? 
So this has taken a while, to say the least, but I think I figured out the problem. I hope I figured out the problem. I only had one engine, and I'm using one engine to try to move uh, essentially a city block. And I'm thinking that it just might not be able to do it, and that the game is treating it like a tire on ground rather than a wheel in water, because however much weight it's trying to push shouldn't change anything. It should still be able to spin in the water. Either way, we now have four engines. If that's not enough, then we're just dead. We're just gonna make a nice life for ourselves here. No, no free weight. Okay, no freeloader. Get the hell out of here. We're pushing enough weight as it is. So, got one engine. Chugging along, not really doing anything. Low frame rate, okay. How about two engines? Not really gonna cut it. Okay, well fortunately, we've got three engines. That's not what I wanna see right now. How about four? Oh my god, what? Ow, I can't make a boat full of engines. This was already far outside of my means. Oh, oh, wait, wait. We probably wanna weigh anchor, don't we? We're good. I swear it wasn't the anchor this entire time. <laughs> it wasn't. I promise you, it wasn't the anchor this entire time. I don't think it was the anchor this entire time. Either way, we should be cruising now. Well, we're still moving against the wind, but at least now it feels like we're moving, right? It took us like six in-game days to get out of sight of the yacht and literally seconds to get back here. I swear to God, if this radar is telling me we're moving in the wrong direction, I'm gonna throw it over the side. No, the number's going down. Okay, we're back to where we started. That is literally how far away we were at the beginning of the episode. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, screw it, screw it. This is progress. This is, this is definitely progress. I'm gonna have to deforest a couple of islands to keep these things going, but we should be fine. I really hope Balboa Island is a nice place. Peaceful, lots of resources, because my stocks have been stretched paper thin. I have nothing left. <laughs> because of any idea how difficult it is to pull four engines out of your butt, and I gotta fix one of them. Isn't that just great? Can you get on that shoe potato? I gotta take stock of what we have left before we get there. And I need to consider whether or not we're gonna find another friend. Probably enough space in here for another buddy or two, right? I think we could make it work. What is wrong with you? Don't tell me you ran out of wood already. I literally filled you up before we left. No. No, they take so much wood. And we got a storm, lovely. Just 500 more meters to go. We're so freaking close. I really don't wanna have to cut down my trees and uproot floors just to burn wood and Go that extra mile. That can't be it, is it? Like, it's still 500 meters away, but it's huge. That might be Balboa Island. I don't think it'd be the island behind this one. Oh, we are definitely gonna be deforesting this place. Okay, this is looking kind of promising because there's a fence, right? That's a chain link fence. Oh, and man-made stuff. Okay, good. This has to be the entrance. So let's uh, let's see if we can move over in this direction a little bit. Can we rotate? Jesus Christ, no, 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 turn. turn. Now is not a good time to dehydrate. We gotta, we gotta turn the engines off. No, I can't move. I'm too thirsty to move. Engines! Engines off! Why are these things not controlled by voice command? Oh my god, we're just spinning. We're just, yeah, here we go. Yeah, turn enough of you guys off and you're useless. You can't move just like me. Come on. Come on, there we go. Screw off. <laughs> now, we're just gonna weigh anchor here and you straighten out. Straighten out. There we go. Are we good? That's about as good as you can ask for. Now please get some water in me before I die. <laughs> okay, I think it's time to read some notes and just relax for a second, right? Just have a little bit of water, maybe eat a bit of shark, 
and then go exploring. Transcribed. My name is Olaf Wilström. Whoever is listening to this, this is my final will and testament. I admit that I ran, leaving behind my constituents and the reformation project. Perhaps the world wouldn't have had to drown, but then again, I'm just one man. What difference could I have made? Boat's ready to go, Olaf. I am only leaving this ship and men out of necessity, not cowardice. The captain's illness took away all semblance of control, left us running adrift. Engines choked. Well, fix it then. Where was I? Yes, perhaps we will find others in a drier place, further south. Perhaps those Arctic sanctuaries will take us. They can use men like me, even now. Fuel lines cut. Perhaps we will greet this new age. What do you mean, cut? More like chewed out. Son of a- Olaf is taking the damn lifeboat, get him! Cities in the blue. Calling the cost of the project's realization borderline criminal and its scope outrageous at least, despite very vocal opposition, the Floating Cities project does not appear to be slowing down anytime soon, according to Ombudsman Olaf Wilstrom's latest statement on the issue. We are fully aware of the gravity of the situation and the strain this puts on the people in these trying times. Nevertheless, with the reformation projects abandoned, our options are becoming increasingly limited. We must now either all pull through this together or join Stockholm beneath the waves. When questioned on the rumors regarding the Ombudsman's modification on his personal yacht, Mr. Wilkstrom refused to comment. Pushing further regarding the satellite photo of another floating city found near the Indian Ocean, Mr. Wilkstrom chose to terminate the interview. When later reaching out to a source that has chosen to remain anonymous, we were able to collaborate. There are dry places still. Shut up, Maddie. That's not helping anyone. Damn it. How do you turn this thing off? You shut up. I've seen them. There were plans, man. Just plans, mock-ups, nothing. How do you even run into a dry place here, man? The world's drowned for God's sakes. Not here, here. Further down south, places where there's still land under the ice, Antarctica, all that. They made those places before the end, stashed themselves away while the poor people drowned. Man, you are just full of crap. No, man, I'm telling you, there was this guy, looked Chinese, found him drifting out in the middle of nowhere. He looked like he'd been lost at sea for weeks, barely managed to string two words together before he gave up the ghost. Said there were three places still, down south, powered by fusion reactors. We can go there, man, steer this thing down south. Hey, is that a rock getting closer, or no, 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 no? Well, we know for a fact the dry land isn't a rumor. Like, this might have been the top of Mount Everest for all I know, but we don't know whether or not there are still people out there. We found lots of clues there are people. People clearly wrote these notes and crashed that boat and stuff like that, but we haven't found any people. And we don't know if these civilizations in the south or these floating cities are actually real, if they exist. But we gotta explore this place. Like, we got a fence, and we got a wheelbarrow. The sun is just now coming up, I think. The weather's agreeable. This is weird. Usually everything is going wrong, but I just listed a lot of things that are right. <laughs> maybe things are finally going our way? Maybe we'll finally have a nice peaceful island to explore. I freaking doubt it. That's why I got my spear out. I'm definitely going to have to gather all of that metal underneath my raft. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Unauthorized personnel to not enter during mating season. What are you willing to bet that it's mating season? What are you willing to bet that it's bear mating season? I'm gonna get screwed by a bear, Leonardo DiCaprio style. This isn't okay, and I'm willing to bet he's not gonna want to be a friend. <laughs> come on, Smokey. You can come aboard my raft. Oh, when they got a lot of signs, that's when you know things are bad. Oh, hold on. In case of bear sighting, leave area immediately. Okay, good to know. <gasps> we also have relay stations, ranger stations, stuff, civilization. Uh, we probably want to go to the ranger station, right? That seems to be the unique of the three. All right, we're going to go this way. <laughs> Keep your eyes peeled for a bear. Even though I'm sure in all reality, if we see a fuzzy dump truck running at us, it's, it's going to stand out. Uh, I don't think you're going to be kind. I can't really sneak, can I? You hear something? Am I losing my mind? That is in the game, right? 
It sounds like a child's bicycle. That's actually kind of creepy. <laughs> okay. It sounds like it's up there. Maybe it's a really weird bird? I gotta figure this out now. Hello? It is a bike. There's a haunted bike. Uh, took chain, sorry, H. Okay. I got the bell. I see a tent. But where there's tents, there's usually bears. Okay, how about... How about we just shoot the most limp dick arrow ever at you? I gotta take you down, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't mean anything against your kind. You do a great job preventing forest fires and stealing picnic baskets. <laughs> but you're trying to eat my ass without permission. Please die. You gotta go down eventually, big guy. I could just back up all day. <laughs> Thank God. Oh no! I I didn't want it to be like this. You seem like a cool dude. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Hopefully you're delicious. I get leather. All right. And uh, oh, I should have took my arrows first. Frig. All right. Well, that could have definitely gone worse, I suppose. Ooh. Henry's stuff. Keep out. Did you? took the chain got an onboard motor uh i can't take this i can't touch henry's stuff is henry still here was henry the bear <laughs> henry i'm sorry okay will they have the ranger station prepared for orc raid what is what is this are you kidding me right now? I do not want to hardcore parkour over stuff that's going to make me radioactive. I don't need my balls glowing in the dark. Ah, oh, technically I'm a woman, right? I'm, I'm fine. Oh, these things sink. They sink. Well, isn't that cute? I guess we're just going to have to pick up the base. Just, just don't, don't, don't think. Don't, don't think. And don't scream. Okay, shh, shh you're going to track the bears. Oh, okay, okay, that was not worth it. That was not even kind of worth it. I could have probably just jump over a rock. <gasps> Why are they going to such great extents to keep out the bears? That seems super excessive. Ooh. Okay, this is a lot more than I would have expected. So that's a relay station. There's a bunch of those lying around, but we also have a ranger station that may or may not have Henry out front. Eh? Oh, it's a mannequin. Okay, I thought I headshot Henry there for a second. <laughs> My first person that I encounter, I, I shoot down. Requires one light bulb. What? Oh, it's a lamp. All right. If I get a light bulb, I'm not wasting it on making a friend. I'll tell you that much. Interesting. Uh, Still have a little bit of headlamp left. What do we have here? Blueprint for biofuel refiner that seems important i could definitely use a little biofuel over all my stupid planks that i'm burning use a fridge on my raft too they're not gonna let me take that up here requires one brunzed hammer i don't know what that is find a hammer oh i would love electricity as well why can't i take that that would be super handy oh we got a note it looks like some kind of work schedule we have no idea what this place was before whatever happened, happened. Right, like a relay station, a ranger station, it, it can mean a lot of things. We don't even know where in the world we are. Like, this could be a Chinese communication network. This could be a North American wildlife reserve. We have absolutely no clue. All we know is that A, Korea, and B, Korea were working between December and February, which is probably when the event happened and the world drowned. I would imagine. So we're just gonna have to keep an eye out for somebody with the name Korea in the middle of the night. Isn't that just great? I don't have a whole lot of headlamp to give, okay? <laughs> Batteries are running real low. So this here would be Relay Station 2. It's interesting that there's three of them because my little microwave toaster works on 
three relay stations, essentially. Three antennas to triangulate where we are. So maybe that's what this is? Maybe it's a bigger version of what I have on my raft? Oh, that's the, the nuclear puddle. Right, I, I thought a texture wasn't loading in for a second. <gasps> All right, what do we have up here? Probably no bears. Ooh. Oh, come on. Let me take all that. Oh, what? I could take all of that. I could get all of that back onto my raft. I could get places to sit and eat and stuff to eat out of it. I get drunk and it'd be wonderful. There's a cactus that would look great. <laughs> the TV might not have much use, but. Uh. Okay. Yeah, when they said relay station, they really meant relay station. This is a lot of high-tech stuff. It's like a radio station. Probably, it has to be like a communication hub, right? They're talking to ships, perhaps? We got another note. First entry, left you the auxiliary boat. I'm sorry, Bruno, they're all alone out there. Albert. Second entry, Albert, I managed to contact someone today. Must have been Navy, but they sounded foreign. Asked them about you, but they didn't seem like they were receiving, since number six went underwater. Left them a message, just in case. It can't be so bad. This is Bruno, signing off. Third entry, Albert, I found your wrench out by the clearing. Did you leave it there? Is this some kind of game? I know it's been rough on you being stuck here, but I think you're being cruel. Please, if you're here, I, I just want to talk. So by the sounds of it, they were trying to communicate with the outside world. They had survived here and just weren't having any luck finding people. They found somebody who wasn't speaking English and couldn't pick up what they were saying. So again, there's rumors that there are people out there somewhere, but one of them may or may not be hiding on the island or became bear poop, one or the other. Interesting. Oh. I can activate the relay stations and then communicate with people through them? Is that a possibility? Maybe I could speak to the foreigners? There's a chance that they only have relay station two, four, and six. Maybe they just went with the even numbers? What is this? Bobby's maze, no trespassing. Oh, no, no, didn't you hear? Bobby said no trespassing. Okay, you know what? Ah, we're gonna have to do a little of this. Yeah, oh, you're you're kind of derpy. Yeah, ow, okay, no, I take it back, take it back, not that derpy. Ow, ow, don't kill me. I got I got a lot of very, very valuable things. Spear to face. Why why is the spear so garbage? Okay, so we can defend ourselves with the spear. It just hurts a lot more. Bear stash. Ooh. We needed the saw. We could go back to the ranger station and uh do something with it. Okay, uh, I think we're coming up on another relay station, though. Let's just see if there's anything at the end of this path that isn't fuzzy and wanting to rip me inside out. So this is station four, and it's definitely smaller. By the looks of it, it doesn't have nearly as much technology as two, so two must be the primary station, and then four is where the children draw. Can I have you? Eh. Eh, come on, I can't, ooh. Okay, Bruns Hammer, good. We need to activate this somehow, right? It's telling me that we've got one of three activated. Ooh, blueprint for a pipe and a note. There we go, that's the stuff. Okay, so we can now build pipes, whatever good that is. Oh, here's all the technology. This doesn't make any sense. Like these people are working here for three months at a time, but they sleep on mattresses between the technology. That's twice now that we've seen a bunch of soiled, bare, single mattresses on the floor between all of these receivers and servers and whatever. It's really weird. <laughs> Either way, I would imagine that we are on the right track, right? Two down, one to go. Even though I might starve to death before I get to the last one. I might want to head back to the raft. I've also been recording for like three hours. <laughs> now mind you, a lot of that was struggling with engines, but we might need to end the episode. Oh, I don't want to, there's so much to do!
Guys, I am so mad right now that I could honestly cry. <laughs> Not only did the game crash before I got back to my raft, which somehow killed me, so I lost all of my stuff, <laughs> but my friends are gone! Babs actually ate them! I'm, I'm just, I'm so done. So you know what? I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Raft, guys. Balboa Island is cursed. I hate it. But I'm gonna do my very best to prepare for next episode so that we can further explore, we can activate all of the stations, we can maybe resurrect my friends. I might be able to access an older save point, but I don't know what I'm gonna lose. I'll figure things out, okay? If you guys wanna see another episode of Raft with a happy ending, then be sure to leave a like this video, let me know, and I'm gonna go lie down. Thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.